Hi, I'm Graham Johnson from Electrics. I'm a technical manager here. Uh, it's important to us that we select, train and retain the right people for our business and our industry. Traditionally over the years people have had CVs come across their desk and they've made a selection based on how well some have presented themselves in the CV as to who would or wouldn't get an interview. Well, our thinking was that that system is probably flawed because if we had 100 CVs in we might select 15 people for an interview. There were 85 potential candidates that missed out. So the pre-selection day gives everyone an equal opportunity to come along and present themselves in the best light, give everything a go. So not only are we doing an assessment on their abilities, but it's also a chance for the potential trainee to have a look at what this industry is about. They can make a decision as to whether this is the right industry for them. So all round a win-win solution for us. So what you see here is the electric gym test. Uh, these guys here are being tested for their physical prowess, um, but we're also looking at work ethic, which is quite important and very easily pick up in the gym. Who remains involved, who isn't involved. There's a whole range of strength that we're looking at, uh, legs, core and shoulders. So this task is to check for shovel shyness. So we've given them a simple set of instructions to follow. So not only are we checking them for the instructions to make sure that they do follow the instructions, but can they actually um, use a shovel? Can they dig a trench effectively? Also a little bit of teamwork involved in this one because although they're digging as individuals, they've got to work around other people, so it's really key. This exercise here is we're checking their ability to handle heights. So the EWP takes people up to 15 metres. Um, we get them to have a look out over the side. So we're checking their heights, but also the person in the bucket's having some interaction with the potential trainee. So we're you know, seeing how involved they are, etc. The other thing is we've got a bit of a dexterity task. These things here will be familiar to all linemen. It's uh, part of an armour rod. And uh, behind me you'll see some guys trying to work out how these things go together. So there's a little bit of dexterity required in putting these things together. And there's three or four components to it. Often you'll find that young kids of today can't operate a pair of pliers or a crescent, so we're checking that. We're checking their ability to follow instruction. They've looked at a plan of how the insulator should go in their cross arm, so they're putting that in following the plan. And also, do they have natural ability in a harness? It's unnatural to be even a metre off the ground and then um, only using your feet to hold you in place and not your hands. The PPE these guys are wearing is a hard hat, safety glasses and some leather gloves. Part of the checks is that they don't actually remove any of that. There's two ways that linemen get up in the air. One's the EWP, which you would have seen earlier, and the other one is with ladders, so they're a pretty integral part of our job. That ladder you see behind me is about five metres long, 26 kilos, so a uh, fair bit of strength required to carry them, but uh, also technique. So we're checking people's ability to uh, listen to instruction here about carrying a ladder, and also to give them an insight as to what's actually required. In the room behind me, we've got uh, numeracy and literacy happening. We've got to make sure that they can read and write and that they can do maths because there's electrical theory training uh, they have to complete to a standard and lots of documentation that we read for a part of our job. So the literacy component is about reading and understanding documentation. This station is a traffic management station. What we're checking here is people's ability to read a plan but more importantly interaction with others, teamwork. So who's standing back, who's being involved, who's not being involved. So it's not so much about completing the plan but more about the interaction, how they work with other people. It was pretty intense. It has been a great experience and thanks for giving me an opportunity to join this pre-selection day. It's going pretty good, getting yeah. good used to this. Yeah, very good experience, yeah. Uh, it's pretty good to give you some experience so you know how the proper techniques to carry a ladder and to stay safe up powerful. The payoff for us is that we get better people because I've seen a wider range of people and it works for us with retention. So we get a higher skilled person because of the selection process, but because we do it differently, we tend to retain people a lot better as well.